you guys let me just start off this vlog by saying I'm the absolute worst I'm just sitting here like doing my makeup like literally halfway through my eyeshadow la di da hanging out and then I'm like oh my god it's festival day I'm supposed to be vlogging and I haven't done any intro or even shown you guys me getting ready so welcome to my channel. I'm a professional YouTuber. Thank you guys for being here. Please subscribe. But anyway, you guys, um, today I'm going to Governor's Ball. Um, it is happening at Randall's Island in New York City. Um, I've been before. I think the last time was two years ago. This weekend I'm just going for the day. I really wanted to go today because Zoo is playing. And if you guys have been following my EDC Las Vegas vlogs, I just saw him for the first time in Vegas. And now I get to see him literally like two weeks later. So I cannot wait to see him. I'm going to keep getting ready while I'm talking to you guys. But Governor's ball is interesting because it's it's kind of like a Lollapalooza maybe like it's a it's a mix it's not just EDM it's not just like bands or anything like that um they have rappers they have bands they have pop singers so and electronic music so it's a little bit of like everything since it's like so close to me I live in New Jersey I personally like go when I can if the lineup like speaks to me and when I saw Zoo on today's lineup, it's Saturday, June 1st. I was like, okay, yeah, I have, to, I have to go for the day. I have to go see Zoo again. So that is the game plan. I'm going with my cousin, some of her friends. Yeah, I'm going into the city by myself. I'm like literally all over the place, you guys, because I still haven't even decided how I'm getting to the festival right now. Good thing is it's sunny and 78 degrees today, so that is amazing. Uh, really lucked out with the weather. Ooh, this color is like perfect for me, thank God. Also, this foundation is fucking bomb, the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. I bought this in two colors and I haven't been using any other foundation since I bought this, so it's really, really good. Okay, makeup's on. I went a little bold today. I know it's gonna be hot and sweaty, but I went for like a super, I wanted to be like bronze and glowy and I've just been seeing a lot of like fun lip colors lately. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna do a pop of red because I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quickly. Also, I just wanna shout out my girl, Ashley. I'm sitting here watching her like Coachella and Electric Forest videos. She's awesome, so go follow her. I also just realized I have my entire coffee left and I put my lipstick on. That is the type of morning we're having. I am like not thinking straight. Oh, and the lip colors I'm wearing, it's a combo of NARS lip pencil in Dragon Girl. I love this color. And then I also have on an Urban Decay lipstick in Bang. This is a little bit more like orange red and this is like a truer red. Just so you guys are aware of like the vibe of Governor's Ball. So one thing I'll say is it's very young. This is I think 16 plus. It's a lot of high schoolers. I remember two years ago when I went on the train, like it was a lot of young kids. This isn't like in my top five favorite festivals, but again, it's convenient. A lot of people will just wear more casual stuff, shorts, tank tops, a couple cute accessories, and then you'll get some people who, who like step it up a little bit and might wear a little bit more like kind of festival clothes. It's also New York, so you'll get like a lot of black, a lot of edgier kind of clothing. So I decided, since it's gonna be hot, that I'm gonna wear this little ensemble. I have this black studded denim skirt that I've literally worn once. I was like, this is kind of perfect. And then I just have a plain white tank top, can't go wrong. I just got this um, dope barbed wire freaking choker from Dolls Kill, so I'm wearing that. Some hoops, some sunglasses, and then I have my little rose fanny pack that I'm probably gonna wear across my body. So that's the whole vibe we're going for. Okay, you guys, this is the final outfit. So I ended up putting on my glitter boots because I love these so much, and these are so fun. Uh, and then I've got my skirt, my little tank top, and then I've got my little fanny pack crossbody here and then I love the necklace this is so fun and I just put some like body oil on too so we got like a little shimmer going on and then I have like my favorite sunglasses I don't know where I got these but 
I've had these for a while. So yeah, this is the whole thing. So I've decided I'm just gonna take the train in and then I'm gonna Uber to Randall's Island. It looks like a lift is about 30 bucks from Penn to Randall's Island. So the ferry round trip was 44. And then I'm gonna go meet my cousin there when we get there because she has my ticket. All right, you guys, I'm at Penn Station now. Uh, I just called a lift and I'm doing a shared ride, which I literally think I've done once before. So I'm being a brave adult right now. Uh, it was so much cheaper to go to Governor's Ball with like a shared Uber and a Lyft. So I'm doing that. Uh, it says it's gonna be like 40 to 45 minutes of traffic. So here we go, we're continuing the journey.
morning you guys i just wanted to hop on here 10 a.m on sunday i just got out of the shower i'm making breakfast i'll show you guys what i've got going on here actually I'm making some protein pancakes with chocolate chips got my coffee watching my girl olivia's drive with me video what's up olivia anyway so i realized i don't think i explained like the chain of events that happened yesterday because it kind of was a crazy day for me it ended up being like so much fun i'm glad i went to gov ball but basically what had happened was my cousin has worked for gov ball um for like the past two years she did not work for them this year we had a huge miscommunication on my behalf i don't know why i assumed something i'm actually an idiot i like went back through our text messages anyway i thought she got me a pass basically um because she had like an artist pass to go backstage and stuff like that for some reason we had been like talking about going to gov ball but i never actually asked her for one i literally don't know what happened my brain hasn't been working since edc i don't know why i assumed she had one for me so basically it took me two hours to get to gov ball yesterday i show up as i'm getting out of my uber literally at the gate i'm texting her like the whole time uh, i was like you know i'm by myself blah blah blah. it all doesn't make sense now we both didn't like piece it together because i went alone thinking i was going to meet up with her and her friends anyway i get out of the gate she's like do you have your wristband i was like like no you have my wristband and she was like what are you talking about did we ever talk about this and i was like fuck i had just this bad feeling going into yesterday Govball's like not even like no offense like my favorite festival anyway like I literally would only go if like, the lineup was that good and like Zoo was on last night so he I really wanted to go for him so I get out of the car and I'm freaking out I'm like at this point I don't even know if there are tickets left didn't plan on spending like a couple hundred dollars yesterday so I'm like well I'm all the fucking way here I'm going into this festival by myself so I walked up to Will Call I bought a Saturday GA ticket it was $135 and then I just went in and I was like you know what I've never done a festival alone yet maybe this will be my first festival that I'll just like go and hang out um but yeah there were just a lot of stuff going on i ended up never even seeing my cousin but this is the beautiful thing about being in a sorority uh two of my sorority sisters were there and I, and I ran into them and then i got to hang out with them the whole rest of the day so that's the people you saw me with and yeah so they adopted me into their group and i got to hang out with one of my subscribers justin what's up justin he saw me in the crowd he was there by himself so then he came into our group and hung out with us we all watched zoo together it was such a fun day it ended up being really good do i think gov ball is worth your money I don't, it's not for me to say. For me, no, I'm, I think this is the last time I'm gonna do Gov Ball. It's like not my favorite festival. I literally, like all the other musical acts just don't really do it for me. The 1975 was actually really good. Florence and the Machine sounded amazing. Casey sounded amazing. It's just not my type of music. And there's so much like of a lull time in between because the stages go back to back. So one ends and then they move to another stage and then no one goes back on the first stage. So it, they just go back and forth. And it's really, really young. And when I say young, I mean like high school. It's 16 plus. So, you know, good for them. A lot of the times in high school you can't go to shows and I know I loved going to shows in high school so like it's something fun for them to do it's like a lot of underage drinking kids smoking weed um, I would say the average age is maybe like 19 20 I mean there's plenty of adults there too but very young very young like I thought I looked young and then you see, you see a 16 year old and you're like holy fuck I don't think you've even gone through puberty yet so yeah not my cup of tea but if you're like local and in, in the area and you can somehow get a free ticket or something like that why not or if you buy your tickets early they're not as expensive so anyway that's my recap of gov ball i basically spent 135 plus dollars plus all the alcohol i bought and everything and all the food i bought probably over 200 dollars pretty much just to see zoo but worth it i don't know <laughs> that is the one good thing that i will say the food at governor's ball and electric zoo because they're at the same location is incredible there's so many good options i ate like a hot chicken sandwich that was delicious i had the big moth sticks that are always good but anyway that's my recap of gov ball uh i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i ended up having a good time <laughs> highly recommend 10 out of 10 go see zoo if you can he was incredible but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I will see you in my next one. Bye.